a student at Flat Iron, and this is Mod 3 project, me with Mitchell. This is actually a web-based real-time strategy game with uh, 3D view and uh, dynamic pathfinding. The project idea consists of a multi-agent epidemic uh, simulation that shows the spread of a virus in a city environment. Um, the actual idea came from during the corona situation where we switched our iron classes to be remotely and from there we wanted to implement the effect of being remote how it could limit the virus and also it's based on the SIR modeling approach that is also used in real world models in epidemiology the SIR approach is it classifies people into three groups the healthy, infected, and removed, which is healed. And the healthy people will stay healthy until they get affected, and then they will turn to be affected, and then to be healed, and so on. Um, our objective of the game is how does closing schools um, stop a virus? Closing schools, or work, or going to gym, or groceries, that would help. And... Um, we implemented such a modeling game as a web application using JavaScript and HTML5 Canvas. Um, the web application mainly consists of a full-size HTML um, Canvas on which the layout of a city is rendered. But, uh, but the graphical concept is closely related to real-time strategy games like SimCity. And the 2D grid is shown as an isometric view that gives the impression of a 3D environment, actually. Um, the tiles are uh, drawn from a texture map um, by using an isometric projection formula that makes it look uh, like a 3D. Um, the city itself, it made actually up to a 50 by 50 grid with a two and a half, I assume, um, southern two dimensional tiles. And the tiles can contain buildings or streets um, that each have uh, certain properties. Um, with a cube or a W, zoom in and zoom out. With going with the arrows right and left, up and down, it takes us over the city. Um, talking about the database um, resistant and active record, we have uh, a database uh, resistant by dynamically storing tiles in a uh, backend using active record and Ruby on Rails. Uh, this allows us um, to interactively edit tiles and uh, permanently store the changes that we have made. Um, the people are simulated by agent that moves across a two-dimensional map. Um, those um, dots, blue, some are blue and some are red. And uh, healthy people get infected actually whenever they pass by infected people. But it must happen in the same tile. Um, um, we have here a signed... Uh, menu where we could um, put some restrictions to close schools or work or stores or gyms or we could run the simulation um, with no restrictions for that and we also have we could add person and that we could place it anywhere and that will allow it to be added with their own schedule and we could also modify the city if we wanted to we're gonna go through some of the properties buildings, streets, waters, and we could place them in our city. Um, and that's for the edit part. And yeah, let's talk about the running the simulation. The simulation shows the behavior of people um, over a certain amount of time that we have an we had actually an event loop running that executes the main logic um, a few times, like a few ticks per second. And after each change, like time step, we render the entire scene um, to the canvas. And people live in buildings and they have a schedule, like going to work or going to school, etc. Um, the people's schedule associates a 
person to a destination tile to which that person um, will go to a certain time, like going to work. Um, a global timer ensure that people's schedule is executed when the appropriate time is due. And in this side, we have a time and we got the people infected. And once I run the simulation, we can um, watch the um, the number of people get infected by the time going through. So let me get to run the simulation. And if we look at the infected people is 33. And the time is going on. And if you could notice that the blue dots are moving only on the streets and the number been increased by one that means that one of the blue dot had the same schedule with blue. got infected because they passed by the same tile and the number it turns uh, to 46 people got infected and the time is 183 okay. so we could stop the simulation and we could again um, run the simulation with restriction and with doing that it will um, actually make the number of people getting infected a way less than uh, running the simulation without um, having the instructions um, on. So we could start that simulation. And we see they still going to be 52. And most of the schedules being blocked so rarely you could see one or two moving and the remaining are staying at their home and the number of people get in the same people get infected it stays the same to 52. Um, to speak about, a little bit about the um, A star pathfinding approach, uh, like the real strategy games do, uh, we invoke the A star pathfinding algorithms to finally compute the shortest path for people to move on. Um, it explores the tiles based on their uh, properties, if people can realistically move on them. Like in buildings uh, and streets, water, each have different properties. And um, you can notice how people only follow streets as they can not walk uh, and not accessible um, tiles. Um, and we back now, the time is moving and the number is um, 52. So let me say, stay safe and stay home. Thank you.